Hello. Uh, today I talk about something about this one. You see, it's a lecture chair um, with um, three parts to make the wood parts. Um, so um, I think we need a sense router to do this work and um, a single spindle one three to five is just okay to cut this small parts from a large um, wood board okay uh, so first we need to draw this part out and uh, Then we export the vectors into ArtCam. So in ArtCam, we uh, create a new model and make it the same as your machine working size. Oops. Okay. And make sure the resolution is bigger than the height and width. So your Simulation will be more clear. So here we got a blank model. And we then go to the vector import and we find the vector. Okay, here we have the three parts. First, we Ungroup all of them. So suppose we have a large um, wood board, about four feet multiply eight feet, or one point two meter multiply two point four meter in this size that's what we created from this model and now we need to cut a lot of parts as the three here out of this large wood board so we need a tool named nesting you can find similar button from your other version of AutoCAM. So in the dialog, we define the two diameter here. Here we'll use a special tool, 38 millimeter, and that's a pass clearance when we make it um, 20, and the sheet edge clearance also 20, and uh, here, allow path rotation, we make it as the default is OK. And this is also by default. And we need to check here. Maximum number of sheets, make it one. And all parts, we make it uh, um, proper. Here and then try nest. You see, we still got a lot of blanks. So I click the blank. Okay, and Control Z or I press this. Make it back. And then I make it a little, a little larger. For example, I make it I make it none here and then nest. 
Okay, seems now we have a more um, high e efficient using of this wood board. As you see, I designed the dimension between each other vector by here and uh, we have each of the three parts 1, 2 and 3 for number 9 so in this board we have 9 part 1, 9 part 2 and 9 part 3 then we can close nesting and uh, start a uh, profiling work I select them both outside select vector make adapts we make it 10 for example choose a tool we use an OG tool such as this select and the material setup make it also 10 and from the top OK and then calculate now so we got a two pass here And in the 3D2, three 3D view, we can see the two paths here. If we do a simulation, standard simulation. We can see by default the two need to cut several times to finish one piece. So if your tool is good enough, you can set from here the profiling to make the step down a little larger. I make it 10 here. So we change the step down value here make it 10 so the two will cut each piece in one pass then calculate now and then we do the simulation again So now we have the board cut and you can see the border is in this type you can use other um, OG tools to make it other kind of shape you like okay so If you have a vacuum system, then you can um, have all this cut very easily. But uh, suppose um, if you don't have a vacuum system, then you need to make the border value when nesting is more larger. So you have a larger 
here and uh, besides this when you do the uh, two pass you can use this option select the two pass not the vector here and then press this then we can use the bridge options to set for each of the vectors then we create bridges so we will have some bridge here on each vector you can make it a little larger Okay, so now we have all the pieces uh, simulated and we zoom in, we can see each one have this bridge here. So after cutting, it won't fall out the big board. Instead, it will still be connected together with the main board. You can then deal with these bridges manually or your other um, machine so then you can use these parts to do your chair here and you may need some other machine to bend this wood board into this shape into the, into this curve shape so the most efficient Solution is to use a 1 3 to 5 model sensor router and with a larger spindle such as 4.5 kilowatts and with a strong tool, strong cutting tool to make this work. So that's more um, economic and more efficient. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have um, questions, you can email me or leave your comments here. Thank you.